Hello Gingerbread Village and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, welcome. Please consider hitting that subscribe button. I try to upload content about twice a week and I am working on a mindset series as well as other videos about parenting and about mental health. So if any of that interests you, keep watching. So today's video is going to be a little bit of two things. Today is going to be a mommy mindset video number four, but it is also going to be a little bit of a real talk. So here's the thing. I do the types of videos that I do because I'm too self-conscious to record in public or even in front of my family. I've had a lot of people tell me that my voice is soothing or that I'm really calm when in reality, I do my videos most of the time really late at night, so I'm just exhausted as well as nervous. Part of me is trying to stay kind of quiet so I don't wake up my kids. In reality, I can be as loud as I want. They sleep like rocks. So this is my pledge to you for me to do more videos with the real me. I'm going to push to show you guys more of my authentic self and less of just this stone-faced kind of nervous Nelly. I have talked in the past about how important nutrition is and how I kicked um, a lot of fast food out of my life and people have asked me to do cooking videos and the truth is that I haven't done any of them because I'm too self-conscious. I'm worried about how my kitchen looks, I'm worried about whether or not I'm going to say the right things, whether people are going to judge me because I didn't wash my hands after touching raw meat or I didn't handle something properly. So I'm just really self-conscious. I'm going to push past that and I promise that I'm going to start doing a few cooking videos to show examples of things that I eat to help my mental health. I'm going to start recording them this week. So hopefully by next week, they will be ready and I will be able to get some of those out for you. I want to thank every single person that watches my videos, especially those of you who have subscribed and joined my Gingerbread Village. I appreciate every single one of you. If you are watching this and you're new here, drop a comment below. Tell me what you want to see and what you might expect from a channel like mine. So now I'm going to get into some mommy mindset things. And those things are going to tie right into what I was just talking about. A lot of parenting is just having confidence or a lack thereof. We feel like we're drowning because we feel like we aren't good enough or we can't do it. We feel like we might ruin our kids. In reality, the only way you can ruin your kids is by neglecting them or doing something really, really bad, which most parents won't do. But we need to give ourselves some credit and realize that parenting is hard. It is not easy. It is not something simple. And a kid, you know, when I first had my very first child when I was pregnant, I figured that my life would not change, that it would be exactly the same and I'd essentially have a little baby accessory on my hip. That was wrong. I was very wrong and my life completely changed. That doesn't mean that it was bad. It was not necessarily a bad change. I did have a very long learning curve and I, I was very thankful that my parents were in my life because they really saved him and me from myself in those days. But my point is that parenting is not all rainbows and lollipops. There is hard work in it. And that's where mindset comes into play. If you believe that you can do it, if you tell yourself that you really can do this, then you will succeed. And yes, most people don't actively tell themselves that they can do it and they still do fine. So imagine what would happen if you told yourself you could do it. If you told yourself that you are capable of doing it. If you are doing okay by floating along, imagine how great you could do if you were actively working towards being a better parent. So I need you to do a few things. 
Number one, I need you to tell yourself every day in a mirror or in your phone camera or a reflective place somewhere, look at yourself and say, I can do this. You would have no idea how monumental that will be in your life. If you just believe in yourself, just have some confidence. A lot of people in their day-to-day -day life, they are not confident, which is why they have not stri strived for more. I am number one held responsible for that because I lack a lot of confidence and I'm working on that. And these YouTube videos are helping me to work on my confidence and showing me the areas that I really need to work on. So the second thing that I need you to do is to do yourself a favor and stop following perfect parents on social media. They are not perfect and you are giving yourself an example that's unattainable. So stop following people that are perfect. Stop following people that you feel like you're not good enough for or you're not as good as because the reality of it is they are not perfect. Their life does not look like Instagram or Pinterest all the time. It really doesn't. And if you would see the whole blown up picture and not just the little snippet that they put on Instagram, you would recognize that their life probably looks a lot like yours. There is at least one thing in their life that is complete chaos at any given time. So you need to change your thinking. You need to start telling yourself that you're capable, that you're worth it, that you are the best thing for your children. I don't know how many times I have walked into a room and thought, I can't do this. I'm not good enough for them. They deserve better than me. But the reality is they need me. They don't need something better than me. They need me. And that is the same with you and your children. They need you. They need you at your best, sure. But even when you're mediocre, they still love you. Even on your worst days, they still love you. I went through a period in my life where I laid in bed for a couple of months and very rarely did I get out of bed. I got out of bed just enough to feed my kids and go to the bathroom. That was literally it. And guess what? Neither of my boys, I didn't have my daughter at the time, neither of my boys remember any of that. Nor do they care. They still love mommy. They still see me as mommy. And they still love me and cherish me just like they did before that event happened, before that great depression of my life took place. So recognize that no matter where you are in your life, your kids love you and they see that you are doing everything you can for them. Just remember that. Remember that you don't have to be perfect. Your life does not have to look like Instagram and you need to stop following people that make you feel that way. Start following real people. Follow people that show all of it. They show you the crappy days. They show you the great days, but they show you both. Those people will help you to feel normal. They will help you to feel accepted and that might boost your confidence a little bit. You need to believe that you are capable of doing this parenting thing because guess what? You're doing an amazing job. Just remember there is no such thing as a cookie cutter life. See you in the next one.